Hi, welcome to Super User TV here at the OpenStack Summit Boston. Um, please go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hello, my name is Thierry Carrez. I am the Vice President of Engineering for the OpenStack Foundation and also the Chair of the OpenStack Technical Committee. Awesome, well, welcome. So um, with these work streams that y'all are doing, what is the objective of your particular strategic focus work stream? Um, so my, the, the work stream, we've, we've, one of the work streams we have identified is the need for better um, um, better communications around what is OpenStack. And because we used to have this very long list of 60 projects, we don't really know how they relate to each other. It's really hard to communicate around that. And so uh, one, of the, one of the work streams that was identified during that um, uh, workshop that united the board of directors, the technical committee, the user committee uh, around the same table is the need for clearer communication about, about what is OpenStack. And um, part of the, the solutions that, we're, that, we're, uh, that we looked into were um, producing um, more of a mapping experience, like producing a set of maps that will uh, help clarify exactly how everything relates to everything else. And not just one map, but more a collection of maps, because you always have so much you can express in a single map. So uh, like we're thinking about a project map that would show uh, what is the core infrastructure pieces, what, is, uh, what are the services that are facilitating consumption of that stack, what are the services that are facilitating operating that stack, what are the services that are packaging or helping deploy the stack, and basically what are the teams that are helping all the other teams to achieve those objectives. And once you start mapping them out in this way, it becomes way more clearer exactly how everything fits, and it's a lot less intimidating than a list of a long list of 60 projects. Definitely. So you kind of touched on this. So what has your team learned since y'all identified this as a problem that needed to be fixed? Um, well, we learned that like the exercise of mapping is as much about what you include in the map uh, as as it is about what you leave out of the map. And, and so you, that's why we came up more of it with a set of maps uh, that are, rather than trying to cram everything on a single map. Uh, the other thing that was, that, we, we, um, uh, that was pretty apparent during those discussions was that we also need to move away from all the terminology around, around the big tent, which uh, introduced more confusion than, than clarity about what exactly we meant by that. Um, so that means uh, uh, we are talking now about official projects and official projects, but we will probably move to uh, official OpenStack projects on one side and projects that are hosted on OpenStack infrastructure, uh, um, just, just, just being hosted on the OpenStack infrastructure side. So try to move away from, from confusing terms that are not really helpful in the discussion and, and map more, more clearly exactly how everything fits. Okay, and so what are the next steps after the summit that this team will take? Um, so for the, for the mapping uh, exercise, we identified two maps that we can immediately work on. Uh, the first one is, is at, in the hands of designers now, like tr trying to turn my diagrams into something uh, more pretty to look at. Uh, another is, is more at the design phase where we are trying to, to exactly uh, show how we can represent maturity versus adoption in a like, 2D graph to, um, to get people excited about uh, projects that are functionally complete but are not necessarily uh, having the degree of adoption as, as our more popular projects. Try to make clear which, the, which of those 60 projects, those promising projects, up and, up and coming projects are so that people can start more actively look into those uh, uh, in terms of adoption. Okay, and so where can people who are hearing you talk about this now, where can we, they learn more after this about the outcomes and then you know, the progress that y'all are making? Where, where can we learn more about it? Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll try to turn the mapping exercise to more of a community uh, a maintained map because there is no reason why uh, the, those maps should be centrally produced. Um, so I expect us to, to try to find a way to produce those maps out of, 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 of the community input and feedback rather than just being built out of the blue. Um, it's difficult because there is like a design step there that you want to write, you, you want to produce maps that are also nice to look at. So we need to figure out exactly how we do that. Um, we also, uh, we should expect a number of changes being proposed to the technical committee as well uh, to 
for, for migrating the vocabulary away from the Big Ten terminology to a more uh, uh, a direct uh, meaning of the words like um, uh, hosted project, official projects, so that it's clear exactly what they mean. We need to purge the documentation of the old terminology. So a number of changes that will be uh, up for public uh, review on our Garrett uh, uh, code review system. So like the community can get, can get involved in that step. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us today on Super User TV, and we look forward to learning more. Thank you.